when people are out in the street, they seem to lose a part of themselves and the first thing to go is their dignity. I've been jumped on, I've been shot, I've been stabbed. Hi, my name is Paul Cha. I'm the clinic administrator for GDBCH for the Center for Community Health. I'm the clinic administrator here. I pretty much run the operations of this clinic, the day-to-day -day operations. So the services provided here at the center is we have primary care, autometry, HIV services, dental, psychiatry, behavioral health, system abuse. The pharmacy, well pretty much now we have an in-house pharmacy that's contracted to us. It's called Farm Request. Patients that get their medication now, now they'll just be picking up at the pharmacy in the center. They will not be referred to outside pharmacy, so they have the option to pick up in the clinic. We see about 200 patients a day, uh, 50,000 uh, annually. A lot of times people are, are, are in certain behaviors because they feel nobody cares about them. They like the providers. The providers will actually listen to them and take care of their needs. So um, a lot of patients will come back here. He came looking for me, he didn't know where to, but they knew I'd be in the park. I'd be going to the park playing down there. Yeah, and that's what we came and get. And I had to change my whole lifestyle. Our doctors that work here come down here to work in Skid Row. They could work almost anywhere they want to, but they choose to be here, as so do our psychiatrists and our mental health workers. We bought this property last year in 2014. And as you can see, there's a lot of need on this corner. There's a lot of repair that needs to happen. This old building, which right now sits on 5th and San Pedro, which as you can see is a corner of despair for a lot of individuals. Our goal is to turn this into a corner of hope where people can come in and they can receive basic necessities of life. They could use the bathroom, they can clean themselves up and they can have access to affordable healthcare services. With a corner like this, like JWCH has always had the idea that we service the underserved regardless of their ability to pay. We're going to help you to help yourself and to help you with preventive health care is I think one of the greatest things the company does. We're going to be looking at the architecture plans and we're going to be looking at the design of the rooms to be able to create the bathrooms, to create the space for the community. We're going to create group rooms and more counseling rooms, and so it's a long process. It's going to take several months, but by the time we get done with it, this corner in this area is going to be completely transformed from this corner of what looks like despair to a corner of hope. We need approximately $2 million to renovate this corner, to fix the sidewalks, to fix the fencing, to fix the buildings, to fix the alleyway, furniture and equipment, approximately $2 million and we're halfway there.